Hi guys, it's me, Clay and Kano, here for another new movie update. Today's video is going to be a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for October 30th, 2022, the day before Halloween, which is tomorrow. And for this update, I got 9 VHS tapes, 8 DVDs, and 11 Blu-rays to show for this update. And which, during the past, during the past week, week ago, and last week, I got, I'd ordered some more VHS tapes of, VHS tapes off of eBay. Um, I ordered some DVDs and Blu-rays off of Amazon with my Amazon birthday gift card money. And I also got another DVD from eBay, which is a surprise, which I'll show you at the end, which you'll probably see. So, yeah. So, yep. So, anyways, let's get this started. First, we're going to start with all the VHS tapes, which all these I got from eBay. E. And all these were buy it now auctions instead of the bid auctions which I've used which I'm usually doing um recently. The first one I got is an MGM MGM big box VHS tape. And this is a 1975 MGM movie. I believe this used to be a rental from Video Cinema, like it said there. And this next one is a smaller clamshell tape and this one's brand new seal which i'm going to open up and this is an anchor bay vhs tape and this was a this is a 1983 live action disney movie this is one of the many um disney films that was given to anchor bay Now let's get this open. There's no printing on this tape. Now let's get on to the slipcover cases. And this next tape I'm going to show is a replacement copy. This tape I originally got off Amazon back in 2018, but the box was damaged, so I decided to get rid of that copy and replace it with an, a better condition copy, which this one's a former L from Blockbuster. And the case in this is in much better condition. It was purchased from Blockbuster on October 20th, 2002. This is a Paramount 9th Anniversary VHS tape. The 32nd week of 2002, and this copy does have the Paramount 9th Anniversary feature presentation bumper bumper at, at the beginning, after the previews, just like my other copy, so yep. This next one's an MC Home Video um, Film Classics VHS release. 
This is a film I'm, I've been trying to get for a very long time. Now I finally have it in my collection. And this is a 1940 Paramount movie. This is one of the many Paramount films that was given to Universe Paramount movies that was given to Universal. And the label says 1985, even, yeah, this is a 1985 VHS, so it has the original labels on there. I think this might, m might been, used to be a form around tool, because I could see that there's used to be a sticker on the side of the tape. It has MCA, um, list writing on the back. And this next one's one of two screener demo tapes that I have in this update. This one's an HBO video demo tape. I know this movie was released by Savoy Pictures. There's no printing on this tape, surprisingly. This one's part, part of the comedy genre. This is another movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Now I finally have it. I've seen this movie as a kid on TV once, and I remember having fun with this. Even though it did get a lot of bad reviews. Former all from Just Video, and this tape is pretty damaged at the beginning until it clears up the FBI screen. And there's no previews on this tape, if you're wondering. But at least the tape still works fine. <clears throat> and this one I just got in the mail yesterday. This is an RCA Clay Pictures Home Video VHS tape. This is a, and this is a Columbia Pictures movie, of course. I'm gonna have to tape this side right here when I get done with this video. <clears throat> Former of some unknown video store, the tenth week of nineteen eighty five. And this next one is another rare VHS tape. This one is a is my second um for your consideration VHS. Each screener I have. This one's a Fox Searchlight Pictures movie. This is my second Akami screener VHS tape I have. The other one I have is Boppo, which is from Paramount. So I got that on eBay back in 2020. And I finally got myself a second um, Akami screener VHS tape, which this one's for Walking Ned Divine, which is a Fox Searchlight Pictures release. And this one... I, this one was on sale for $6 with free shipping, so I couldn't pass this up. The 4th, 6th week of 1998. And this movie was released by Fox Searchlight Pictures, by the way. And here's the last speech just for this update, which this one's the second, this one's the other demo tape that I have in this update. And this is another movie I've been another movie I've been trying to get for a very long time. Now I finally have it. This one's a Merrimax demo tape. 
And this movie and this movie is actually directed is actually written and directed by M Night Shyamalan. Before he did The Sixth Sense and other movies. June 3rd, Night High 8. And now let's get on to the DVDs, which all the, which all these, which these first, which these first, um, these first, um, seven DVDs I got from Amazon, while the last one I'm going to show is from eBay, because it's a surprise. But here are the DVDs that I got from Amazon.com. This first one's a Warner Archive DVD release, and this one's an MGM film from 1970, as you can tell because of the front poster. This is another movie I've been wanting to see for a very long time after hearing so many good things about it. Now I finally have it in my possession. And this movie's from Touchstone Pictures and it was co-made by Paramount Pictures in which Touchstone had the home had the theatrical rights here in America, while Paramount has the rights the theatrical rights overseas. And at the beginning of this movie this DVD, there's no Touchstone Pictures logo at the beginning of this movie for some odd reason. This is another movie, and this is another movie right here that I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Once again, I finally have in my possession, and this one's a Paramount DVD-R release, my second Paramount DVD-R release I have. The other one I have is Gun Ho, and this movie was released here in America by Paramount Pictures, while overseas it was released by Columbia Pictures, which is interesting. And this next one's a movie that I had on VHS, but I decided to get it on DVD. This was only $5 with, with free shipping. And comes this new, like, eco DVD-like case now. And this next DVD that I got was, this one was actually used with Amazon Prime free shipping while the other ones were brand new, but this one I got used. I do have the first Jaws movie on DVD, which that's a classic movie, and this and this is the only Jaws sequel that I wanted because I'm not getting Jaws 3 or Jaws 4 The Revenge because I heard those ones are because I heard those ones look are terrible. They do look terrible in my opinion. So I'm just sticking with this sequel for right now. I'm only sticking with the first Jaws and this sequel. Which I do know this one got some mixed reviews. But but, the, but at least this one looks better than Jaws 3 and Jaws 4. <clears throat> and 
And here's the last DVD that I got from Amazon for this update. And this is another movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time. I don't, I usually I don't, I don't collect horror movies, but this one's one of the few horror films I've been wanting to see. And this is a 2018 repackaged DVD release, but... But the DVD itself is still the original master from nighttime, the original Nighttime 8 or Nighttime 9 DVD release. <clears throat> and now let's get on to the Blu-rays, which all these I got from Amazon.com. And these first two are replacement copies that I have. This one's a movie that I had on DVD, but I decided to get on Blu-ray. And here's the digital copy code, which will expire on 2023. And I did have the original Blu-ray release from 2008, which I got that from Amazon back in 2018, but... I saw you go ahead and get this newer special edition released from 2017 because of the new picture quality. And here's a digital copy code which already expired on, on September 30th, 2019. I do have the first Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs movie on Blu-ray, which, that's a great movie. I have seen the sequel before, and this is a good sequel. I actually did used to have this Blu-ray back in the day, but I got rid of it out of stupidity, but now I got it back in the collection. And this is a Columbia Pictures movie. Here's the digital copy code, which expired on New Year's Eve 2017. Now, the original Blu-ray case that I got this, when I got this in the mail, was broken, so I have to replace it with this Blu-ray case. But at least the discs are in good condition. And this next one's another Columbia Pictures, Sony Pictures animation film. I do have the first Hotel Transylvania movie on Blu-ray, which that's a good movie, and... This sequel, I didn't get a chance to see when it came out because I kind of lost interest. But now, I finally got a chance to see this movie on TV back in 2020. And this is a good sequel. In my opinion, I kind of like this better, a little more than the first, in my opinion. And the third film was just okay, and the fourth one was just also okay. But I think the first, I'm just sticking with the first two Hotel Transylvania movies because I like those. I kind of wish I didn't miss this out when it came out, but that's okay. And this, is a, and this is a Night Taiwan Carlco Pictures movie, and it was released by TriStar Pictures. And at the beginning of this Blu-ray, this film does contain the film's 1984 TriStar Pictures logo 
at the beginning. Then the Carlco Pitchers logo as well. Here's the digital copy code, which, which will expire on November 9th, 2022 of this year. And the Blu-ray itself is from Lionsgate because Lionsgate has the rights to Carlco Pictures movies. And this next one's one of two Vestron video um Vestron Collector Series Blu-rays Blu-ray that I have in this update. The other show, the other one I'll show in a couple minutes. But here's the first one. And this Blu-ray itself is from Lionsgate, and when this and this movie was which was actually released by United Artists and MGM when it came out, and MGM had the rights to this movie um, back in the day, but now Lionsgate had Lionsgate got the rights to, to this movie again because this movie was actually produced by Vestron Pictures, but it was released by United Artists because because around the time Vestron Pictures went bankrupt, so. United Artists has ended up releasing this movie. And, M and MGM, home MGM had the home video rights to this movie, movie until Lionsgate got them in 2000, got the rights to this movie in 2020, if you noticed. Here's the digital copy code, which already expired on September 15th, 2021. And this next one is a is a replacement copy. This blue I got, I originally got this back up. Back on eBay back in 2020, but it wasn't the greatest condition, so I decided to get this co this one brand new sealed from a Amazon, and it's in much better condition. And this is a Columbia Pictures movie, and yes, I'm allowed to watch this movie. I actually seen this movie before; it's really funny. Although it's this movie's definitely not for everyone. And here's the digital copy code, which this one expired on February 28th, 2017. And here's another um, code, which expired on New Year's Eve of 2019. I think this is actually the digital copy code for this movie. While this is just a rewards thing. And this next one's a Mill Creek Entertainment VHS Retro Style Slipcover Blu-ray. This is a 1990 TriStar Pictures movie. And this next one's another Mill Creek Entertainment Blu-ray. And this is another movie that I had on VHS, but I decided to upgrade this to Blu-ray. And this one's a Morgan Creek movie, originally released by 20th Century Fox. And now Sony has the rights to Mill Creek, to Morgan Creek's Entertainment's movies, libraries. And so this one's released on Blu-ray by Mill Creek Entertainment.
And this next one's the other um, Best Drawn Collector Series Blu-ray that I have in this update. This one's number 23, while Lil Monsters is number 19. And this one's, and this is another Vestron Pictures movie, although it has the Lionsgate thing right there for some reason. But this Blu-ray still has the Vestron Pictures logo at the beginning. And once again, here's the digital copy code, which already expired on October 26, 2022. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. I have the first Super Troopers movie on DVD, and that's a funny movie. So, finally got, so yep, finally got the sequel in my collection. To have yet to see this one, and this one's also released by Fox Searchlight Pictures, like the first movie. Here's the digital copy code, which expired on 2020. I'm still going, going to call 20th Century Studios 20th Century Fox, in my opinion, because that's just me. I prefer to call that Fox again. And lastly, here's the last DB for this update, which this one I got from eBay, which is a bid auction, so I won. And this one's a surprise. And it's the E.T. The Extraterrestrial Ultimate Gift Set from 2022. I did have this movie on DVD, which was the original 2002 Tudis Special Edition DVD, but that one was scratched. So I got rid of that, and now I got another copy, which is the Ultimate Gift Set. And this one I only got for $14 with... Five dollar with three or five dollars shipping, which was twenty dollars. So I got this for a really good deal, and this one's in excellent condition. And the seller that I got this from on eBay gave me this note. And here's the book. Here's a little book thing, which is pretty much the the making of and the film's screenplay, which is pretty cool. Here's a little film reel, which represents the end of the film. Oh. Here's the soundtrack information. And of course, here's the DVD set. Here's disc one, which has the 2002, um, 2002 version with the CGI ET. And here's the two thousand. Here's the night. Here's just two, which is the original nineteen eighty two version with the original E. T. puppet. Here's disc three, which has the bonus features, and here's the fourth disc, which is the soundtrack. And here's the inside artwork, which I'll show. I'm going to put the thing in there for right now. So 
So yeah, I was very lucky to get this off of eBay for a really good deal. And that's it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for no for October 30th, 2022, the day before Halloween. And hope you guys like this video. And you can guys thank me a happy early Halloween. And I'll and I'll share a happy Halloween for tomorrow. So yep. Hope you guys like this video and happy early Halloween.